Just wanted to thank the city of Nashville for, for some great hospitality. Thank Billy Garrett for the open bar bill at Tootsie's all week. <laughs> um, and we'd like to congratulate and thank David Poyle. He's been a mentor to many of us, and congratulations on a great career. Uh, to make our selection, I'll uh, call up our head scout, Wes Clark. Toronto selects from the London Knights, Easton Cowan. Easton Cowan is the latest member of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Another London Knight goes well, in the draft. Well, look where he's sitting, guys. That tells you everything you need to know. You, you'd have to search around to find this guy because it's unexpected that he goes here. But a deep dive will tell you that this guy is a gritty, tenacious player. His playoffs, I think, really sealed the deal for him. 21 points in 20 games. I had a chance to stop him at the combine right at the very end in the hallway and this guy was locked into doing his work there so he gave me a couple of good answers but again we talked about Oliver Bonk, London Knights playing in Junior B, Easton Cowan followed that same path but while he was playing Junior B practicing with the London Knights and that playoff year with that grit that tenacity when it's tenacity when it's most difficult to produce points he did so at over a point per game pace in the playoffs a guy I know JB you're familiar with. Yeah, no, absolutely. This guy was an absolute riser in the second half. There is a little bit of a coincidence here, isn't it? Like Mark Hunter's London Knights and, and the Toronto Maple Leafs. But what you look for out of this guy, trust. You trust this process. You trust his game. He goes to all the hard areas. He plays fast. He scores from the middle of the ice. Dale Hunter just absolutely elevated his minutes down the stretch. And anybody who's familiar with the way the London Knights process works, they better be it, like really trusting you as a player at the hardest time of year. He earned it. Uh, this is a little bit outside the box, but good on the lease that this is the guy that was their best available on their list. Mount Bridges, Ontario. Uh, if you need more information, he's a center, about 5'10", 170. Uh, obviously, so with some room to grow. He is an 18-year-old. Uh, and you saw by the position that they, they put him in in the stands, as you said, he had the longest walk of oh, any yeah. prospect here. It's probably a little bit out of breath right now. Uh, but there's the Leafs management welcoming in the newest Maple Leaf, Easton Allen. It was ironic. I spoke to Mark Hunter this morning, and I just wanted to check in. Denver Barkey's another guy we'll probably see go tomorrow. I wanted to check in and bonk. I felt pretty comfortable with where I thought he might be going. But I said, tell me a little bit more about Easton Cowan and what he's all about. And I think to uh, Luke Evangelista, when he first started playing for the London Knights, he was a trustworthy guy. Defense, penalty kill, and as he started to do those things, his minutes went up and it was given more high leverage situations. The exact same thing for this guy. I mean, he is a real greasy player. I love that about him. And these aren't throwaway picks, right? We've seen some pretty notable 28th overall picks. Corey Perry, Justin Williams, Mike Richter. Uh, Chuck, is that the difference between a Stanley Cup caliber team and, and other teams? Is the fact that you can get those diamonds in the rough maybe where they're unexpected? Oh, absolutely. You look at the Washington Capitals. How many years have they been picking in the 20s and, and, and drafting pretty good players late in the draft? And it makes a big difference. And again, if you're going to be a good hockey team, assuming you keep your first round pick, you're, you're picking between 20 and 30 every year. If you want to stay competitive, you got to hit on those picks. And Jason, was the eye test a big part of this? Someone in Ontario in the OHL, just a couple hour drive from Toronto, the fact that they may have seen them. Uh, firsthand a little bit more than they saw some other prospects. Well, Wes is right there in Toronto, but Dave Morrison is is living right there in the area as well. He's living up Grand Bend area, and and don't discount the uh, the impact Mo had on this on this pick. He's been a Toronto Maple Leaf uh, head scout, director, player personnel for as long as I've been in the game, and and they would have really tracked him religiously. I wouldn't be surprised if they were at practices, including games.